click get started in the upper right hand corner get started okay now you want to sign up to create an account i recommend using a business email address yep click that so you sign up and I'm then not a robot to say you're not a robot thank you for signing up okay so then go to your email there's a verification and then scroll down to verify your email click that little link that says hello thank you now go back to where you were now click continue so if you'll take your phone and open up your google authenticator okay it gave me a number okay enter that number okay and then we have you want to click this download backup codes and you want to print these out and keep them in a safe place next it's going to step you through setting up a crypto wallet to hold the currency that you're receiving from your customers and it's going to give you your mnemonic phrase which is a series of words and then it's going to get you to check your mnemonic phrase and i recommend carefully writing them down double checking them because if you lose this you lose control over your wallet also don't save this online anywhere in fact i recommend not saving it on your computer either we're not going to show this whole process for obvious security reasons because this is someone setting up their actual wallet okay so now we strongly recommend backing up an encrypted version of your wallet to Google Drive. So again, it'll be encrypted. So if anyone has access to your Google Drive, it's still going to be protected. Good. So go ahead and click back up to Google Drive. You're ready to start accepting cryptocurrency from your customers. My goodness. And just get a Google security notice. <laughs> yeah, so go to dashboard. Okay. At the bottom, it says accept payments and then... All of these. That's it. So let's, why don't you send me an invoice as though, right. as a practice, as though, let's say, I want to stay at your place uh, for one night. So well, you'll I, go to the center we'll one. Well, this page come up every time I try to do it. So. Yep. Yep. Okay. You always come back to this. Yep. So you want me to do the middle one, create an invoice? Yep. Or That's create? it. Create an invoice. That's it. Business name. Okay. Let's go into settings and set up your business name. So click the word settings there. Settings, right? Oh, good. So I won't have to do it every time. Right, right. And then go ahead and put in your business name. Say. Yep. And I can do you, a logo too. Yep. Well, let's I can do, do that, that anytime. You want, should you can I do upload, that anytime if you want to. Upload a logo. You want to click save first on the other one. Just click. There we go. So, oh, great. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Okay. Your primary brand colors. Okay, yeah, you get to pick the color. You would like this. I guess I could always come in and change that number. Yep. Now, here is where, see where it says add account? Yes. You can immediately, by using a Coinbase account, you can instantly sell your crypto on Coinbase Commerce for cash or USD coins. So click out? If you, yes, if you want to do that. Yep. I do. Wait for it. Hopefully, they won't let me use the account I've already got set up. Coinbase. That's it, right? Okay. Now you have chosen where your crypto that you receive will be deposited. You can then hold it as cryptocurrency or convert it to dollars of fiat money. Use for your funds will be deposited, but the trade history will always appear in Coinbase. That's good. One place to look at. I'm looking at three or four places. Now let's go through the process of accepting payments. Click accept payments. Sell a product, send an invoice, accept donations. Let's go ahead and send me an invoice as though I'm renting a room, okay? All right. Fill that in. Customer email. What's the email, Martin? Customer name. Memo. Create invoice. Write an email. Write an email. Click that. Or you can copy it and put it in an email. I will probably put it in my one that I've got a signature from. Yeah, is that the right one? Or Yeah, that's do me in your Outlook. And I would add. You can add something else to it. And then I would add my signature down here and send it to you? Yep. One base commerce. Oh, so I could have copied this link and put it in, into my already formatted yes. voice that I use. Yes, absolutely. Now open this window up a little more so we have more room. And then click X on this. 
This completes this tutorial, and I want to thank Chloe of Big Meal Bed and Breakfast for letting me join her on the journey of setting up Coinbase Commerce so she can accept cryptocurrency at her business. Don't forget to click subscribe and the bell so you see future videos, and check the text below for other links.